what if you could make the digital world and social media a better place by preventing any sorts of abusive toxic comments over the internet. Now we know that constructive feedback is really important for people to learn and improve and for everybody else to see as well. But when it comes to toxic or offensive or abusive comments, I think we are better off without them and they should absolutely be prevented on social media. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you today with my new project that I've built with Angular and Google Gemini. We're using Google Gemini's powerful models and structured data to basically analyze the sentiment and then to prevent anyone to actually post offensive comments. Now, I could go and show you the library that I published, but that's not fun. I'm just going to show you directly the demo. When you go to the application, you're asked the Gemini API key and you can get it by going to aistudio.google.com. You can click this particular button and then this one to create an API key in a new project or an existing project. I already have one API key, so I'm going to just copy this just like this. Then you go to the app and paste it, hit enter. And now on the left, you have some configurations. And on the right side, we are simulating someone trying to post a comment, let's say on a blog or article. Now, if I go here and say, this is sad. This is going to understand using Gemini and we get back the sentiment that's right here. But down below, you can also see the text that we sent and the Gemini response, which contains a lot of things. Let's go through them quickly. The category can be either negative or positive. There should be an emoji that shows the emotion or the sentiment. There's an intensity from zero to one and zero being very low in terms of how strong the emotion is. And one is highly strong emotion. Then we also have the sentiment, what sentiment it is. And then there's a suggested action of allowing or blocking certain actions. If it chooses to allow or block, it also has a reason of why this was blocked. This is more for developers or for example, for myself. But if I want to show the user why we are not allowing such an action, we also have a message property so you can render this within your application. Now let's change this a bit. I can go here and I can say this is the worst article ever. And now you can see that Gemini analyzes this as angry and it also shows a message here as well. And this comes directly from here. So your comment is too intense and may hurt others. Please try rephrasing. So you can see that this is not really cool. And the action right here is block. When that's the case, you can essentially block the button just like this. And now they cannot really comment it at all. And you can also from the configurations choose either Gemini 1.5 Pro or Flash. And you can choose to show or hide the sentiment, show or hide the message as well. And you can also update the context. Now, I want to show you that this whole library is set up in a way that is very generic to analyze sentiment. But if you want, you can provide more context. Right now, we are in the context of commenting. But let's say if I remove the context completely, then what would happen? In this particular case, Gemini still analyzes this as an angry sentiment, but it does not say that the action is to block in this case because Gemini doesn't have any idea on what constraints should it allow or block an action, for example. Let's say the user tries to rephrase this now. For example, we can say this was not too understandable. Can you update it to be more clear, for example? And here you can see that this identifies as constructive and here you can see the whole response as well. Super cool. But if someone tries to say you stupid, you know what will happen. In this case, this is toxic and won't be allowed at all. So there you go. With Google Gemini, you can already make social media and the digital world a better place by using sentiment analysis. You can either use the library that I created or build your own with AI Studio or Google Gemini on Vertex. The choice is yours. I want you to let me know in the comments what you think about this project and if you would use this in your own applications. And if there's something you want me to work on, let me know in the comments as well. As always, happy coding.